Hey, hey, kids, it's your old pal Greg Elliott here, and welcome to Screen Rant. With the new Disney Plus streaming service, the first 30 seasons of The Simpsons, TV's longest running scripted primetime animated series, will be available from day one, which means generations of Simpsons fans can check out the show from the very beginning and also see just how much the show has changed since the awkward first season. It's pretty incredible how far the show has come since the original shorts debuted in 1987, and one of the show's greatest characters is, of course, Krusty the Clown, voiced by Dan Castellaneta, who's also the voice of Homer. Krusty, arguably the town's biggest celebrity, as you know, hosts the Krusty the Clown Show, home of the itchy and scratchy cartoons, and as Krusty once bragged, I tell you, it's the tightest three hours and ten minutes on TV. Krusty is also Bart Simpson's personal hero, even though Krusty never seems to remember any of the many things Bart has done for him, like reignite his career with Krusty's comeback special, serve as his assistant, the I Didn't Do It Boy, or even reunite him with his estranged dad. Ironically, Bart barely ever does anything for his own dad as selflessly as he does for Krusty, but early on in the show's creative process, did you know, Matt Groening originally planned for Homer to live a double life where he was secretly Krusty the Clown all along? Yep, so Krusty's very first appearance was in the Simpsons short titled The Krusty the Clown Show that aired on The Tracy Ullman Show. In it, Bart attends a taping of the show and tries to expose Krusty as an imposter while Homer and Marge watch from home. But Matt Groening's original idea for Krusty was to have him actually be Homer in disguise. Groening said in Entertainment Weekly that, quote, Homer still couldn't get any respect from his son, who worshipped Krusty. If you look at Krusty, it's just Homer with extended hair and a tuft on his head. But when I look at Krusty, I think, yeah, that's Homer. I mean, he's not wrong. The physical resemblance between the two is obvious. Take off Krusty's makeup and hair and you do basically have Homer. But Groening said that since they were in such a rush in the early days of the show, they thought it was too complicated a story to do, so they dropped the idea and kept Homer and Krusty as separate characters. But that physical resemblance did come into play later in the show. In the season six episode, Homie the Clown, Homer did kind of get to be Krusty after he enrolled in Krusty's Clown College, and the two both ended up as targets of Springfield's Mafia because of Krusty's $48 debt to the mob. That'd be pretty funny, huh? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Homie don't play that. Krusty has since gone on to become one of the show's best supporting cast members, who's been featured in tons of episodes, and it seems like keeping them separate was a good call because it allowed The Simpsons to do something much better with it. Krusty is the show's awful celebrity, and as such, he basically perpetuates every negative stereotype there is about fame and fortune. He won't eat his own Krusty burgers, but he'll throw his face and name on pretty much anything he can just to make a buck so he can live a lavish lifestyle and do crazy rich people things. You've got to stop blowing your money like this, Krusty. No can do. He even once faked his own death in season seven because of his IRS debts, and only returned once Bart and Lisa stroke his ego and tell him he's more respected than all the scientists, doctors, and educators in the country put together, which is the idea that finally gets him to come back. And in season nine, when his outdated and racist comedy bombs in The Last Temptation of Crust, Krusty stages a comeback by quote, telling it like it is, only to immediately sell out when he's offered the chance to be the spokes clown for the Canyon Arrow. Sure, Homer secretly being crusty might have been an interesting twist, and we'd probably never know any different if they had gone that route, but I don't think that that could ever compare to all the last Mr. Herschel Kristofsky has given us over the years. Thanks for watching Screen Rant, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this little peek into The Simpsons world. I'm Greg Elliott, and who the hell are you?